car number one is my new 2000 Lexus LS 400. This one I recently acquired on on the auction site. Got it for a really good deal. Let's show you the car. All right, 2000 Lexus LS 400. It was in the auction because I got I got a little accident here in the back. I'll show you right here. And it busted the tail light. That's a replacement one. And of course the bumper. But that would be getting fixed. But other than that, it really has nothing else. It's well kept. Have a few scratches and dings here and there. But um, other than that, it's in very good condition. And interiors. bit dirty haven't got to it yet but it's in very good condition Everything works on it. Let's check the engine out. All I've done to this was a wash. I gave it a nice engine wash. Nothing too detailed. Just a quick power wash. But she is clean. This car, I'm pretty much just gonna get all the minor repairs, fix any little detail. In the near future, do a little body work for the rear end and all the scratches around the car. And I will um, put some wheels, give it a stance. I love stance. This is a big body, so they look really good. Uh, VIP style even though I won't go full VIP but I will give it a little stance um little hint the same my first LS 400 I do have another one 
and I'm pretty much gonna swap my setup from the other Lexus to this one um, for the time being because this one is gonna be the daily driver but I want it to look nice and um, repair little by little and my vehicle number two Mitsubishi Mighty Max Oh, here it is, 1990 Mitsubishi Mighty Max. This one I acquired back a couple of years ago, also in an auction here locally in Texas. Um, it was auctioned off because it didn't run. Ended up having a bad bear. So I managed to get the block checked. Bought a rebuild kit. And after getting a machine and, and checked, I rebuilt it myself. Now just waiting on suspension parts. Bag is covered of the parts for this vehicle. Future plans for this one is pretty much um, just get it running right. Also get a stance. I do have uh, lowering blocks for the rear. I got two inch drop spindles for the front, two inch drop springs as well. And I'll eventually get some of the body work. It's kind of rough. Yep, zero 060 eventually. She is a little dirty, but Door cards might do something with that in a later time. I've gotten a few pieces already. This is a 1991 Mitsubishi Eclipse steering wheel, a lot sportier than the one the Mighty Max has. I also managed to score a D50 Dodge, which is pretty much the twin of the Mitsubishi. That one came with the actual the tack and it has more of the gauges than the original Mighty Max one. I also managed to score the little clock which was uh, originally just blocked off with a plastic covering. And I got this bench seat from the Junker. The original one was really messed up. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, it was that messed up. That's your dungeon. The rebuilt 4G64 2.4 liter Mitsubishi engine, the Mighty Max. So it's pretty much stock. I did paint the valve cover and the timing sprocket on top here. But other than that, it's uh, fairly stock. I did freshen up the firewalls a little dirty, but and does have all new brake system from the booster, which is oxidated, didn't paint it. That was my mistake. Has a new master cylinder. Has all new brake rotors, pads, flexible brake hose lines, all new. I do have all suspension parts. As I'm working on it little by little, you can see a little bit there. New on the new upper control arms. Now for this, it's gonna be good for now, but I got a little surprise. Got a little surprise coming up for it. Engine upgrade. And 
this here is the engine upgrade. I will be doing a video on that soon. So stay tuned. And this right here is a 1999 Honda Civic. Nineteen ninety nine Civic. How was the deal for this vehicle? Once again, a nineties vehicle. Not too expensive. Nice gold rims. It has a few details. Nothing that can't get fixed. It's a little rough, but it got potential. And if you know anything about Civics, parts are very cheap. So, future plans for this one. Pretty much um, fix any little detail it has. Make sure it's running right. Do a little body work. You could always get some um, parts for it. Like I said, it's a little rough, but got plenty of potential. This was an automatic and it was swapped onto manual, but it runs great. Just need a little headliner fix, which I'll probably try to do it. I've already done it once in my life. I'm gonna do it again. Interior, well, between fair and little. A little rough. I have uh, extra radios I'm gonna put in there. And let's check the engine. I'm gonna leave that surprise. And here we are, my vehicle number four. This is another LS400. This one is a 1995. I've had her for quite some time now. And um, her transmission gave out. So I'm pretty much retiring her. But I got big plans, big plans for this one. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go all drift. Um, big body drift car. I'm gonna gut her out, make her lose some weight. I'm gonna remove everything in the interior and even replace some metal panels, um, replace some body panels, and make some bash bars. It's gonna be a real fun project. But for now, she's gonna be here in the storage and um, I'm gonna get the wheels and suspension set up for the other LS400. For the time being. Kind of like a, a barn find, so dirty. I'm kind of parting her out for the other Lexus, which uh. This lens had a crack on the bottom, so I'm just gonna take this one for the time being. And the wheels, suspension. I'm gonna clean them up really nice and then swap them to the other Lexus. She is pretty rough.
Right now she's just storage. The engine. It gave me good years of service. The engine should have somewhere close to three hundred thousand. I had done a clutch fan delete. Some electrical fans. And, I, and it was crashed in the front. Somebody backed into me in a red light. So this is a, a new radiator support. And also have a, another fender right over here. 